Hi guys, this is um, Markus here and just going to give you a quick setup and install guide for connecting um, TJBot to the Watson IoT platform. So this is basically the scenario we want. We want to have ideally a dashboard. I want to have some buttons in Node-RED which then <coughs> control uh, the light and uh, the arm of TJBot and then we add uh, speech functionality. To it as well. So this is basically just a setup. So before you start, you should have a TJBot or a Pi set up with a library from TJBot. And you need a Bluemix account. We're going to create, and I walk you through this. Create a, an IoT a starter environment. We're going to register TJ as a device in the IoT platform, and then we're going to install my controller program. We adjust some credentials, and um, then we add the flow. So, okay, so let's start. So the first thing is, let's go to Bluemix. Let's log in here. And um, we're gonna... I logged in before, so. So because that's the dashboard. So, In the dashboard, we're going to create a new space. Let's call it TJ Demo 1, 2, 3. Here. So what that does, it's going to create as a Node.js instance or a Node.red instance, the database and the IoT platform. So we're going to call this TJ Demo123. We can give it any name. That's basically the host name for our Node.red instance. And then there should be a button. Create. So this is going on now. Let's see. There's one thing you might want to do is um, for other scenarios we need other couple services. So at the moment we have these the database service and the IoT platform service. You will also need um, speech to text and text to speech service. <clears throat> so you can add them here as well. So we can just Add those two quick. So the one thing we have to do is, so I added speech to text, text to speech, and conversation to the service to my uh, Node-RED instance. What we have to do is bind it to the instance, so, um, so otherwise they're not going to be available in Node-RED. So you're just going to say connect existing connection, and you add those three services. That will save your time later on. So you don't have to reboot all the time, so just uh, cancel this <coughs> and add each of them. Just 
pistons up and running of node red. Uh, we're gonna just fire it up. We're gonna ask, it's gonna ask us to set it up real quick. So we just give it a username password. And that should be it. I'm just gonna go through these steps which I laid out here in sequence, basically here. I assume you did this already. So there's a nice instruction on that URL here. So the, once you put the username and password in, you should be able to be good to go. So we have all the foundation for, or some of the foundation. So the first thing we should command draw this. Right, sound was off. So we're gonna go find our GitHub and copy the code. And we go in here, let's create a new folder, call it tj command and a team is control um and we paste this in here. So it's not going to do anything yet, but at least we have this in place. So the first thing we actually have to do is go back to our space and we have to launch this IoT service. So we launch the service. straightforward. We need to register device type first, which we're going to just call TJ bot. So we're just going to call it TJ bot. And then we say next, next, next. It doesn't do anything really. And then creating the device type. And then we're going to create a device. So we'll just leave that, click next. And yeah. So we give it a device name. I'm going to call it my tj bot zero one copy that and then next and then um, for demonstration purposes I use I provide a token so that makes it easier for you to type it in so um, I'll just use my device ID also as a token it makes it easier you don't have to so this is my credentials and we need these credentials in our controller program. So, so now the next step is we go back to the GitHub. We have here our controller program. There's one with tjlibs and one without tjlibs. And um, so the first thing we should do is so I'm logged in here SSH to our TJ bot, and it works. So I assume you have this set up based on the instructions from the TJ bot team. And if you did, so let's make sure that um, one of the tests works. So test.js node. So it should hopefully. You probably not going to see the colors, but yeah. Okay. So once you have done this, so go back to the TJ directory. Okay. So that's good. So what we need to do is basically clone this uh, JIT here. So you can just do JIT clone bam. And it's creating this MQTT, TJBot MQTT directory. And it's very fast. So then go in there, TJBot. So we're in here. Let me basically follow these instructions right here. Um, so the first thing you need to do is in this directory, we need to install the IOTF Node.js um, stuff. So that goes basically this, this sequence here. And that just copies the stuff, clones it, copies it down, takes a little bit. And then you go in there, IOT, 
dash and do an npm install so that will install and compile the stuff that may take like five minutes or so okay once this is installed so back to the the other directory so which is called with pj and we have to do an npm install here as well again that might take a couple of minutes again and uh, might have to wait for that so okay so we should have the module directory here okay so the one thing which uh, is missing is we're gonna have to update the credentials in our file remember when we we registered TJ here so we need to update this with these credentials so here's our organization and then the name my TJ bot one and that should do it so let's just have a token So let's see. So now we should be able to, so TJ should fire up, light should go on and the arm should wave. Keeps information to our IoT platform. So we should get here some messages in our, yeah, here we get messages from our device. If you change, if you have a different device ID, like mine is, you might have to adjust this here. here they're coming from everywhere yeah so because if it's not adjusted then you cannot send stuff down so now we have this node flow node red flow which is uh, which you can find in the github here which I pasted in right just in suppose it's right there come on so like this guy so I just you know um, import this here and um, so the bottom line is now we should be able to send commands down to our little program here, which is running. It's off. So our LED should go off. Yeah. So we can switch it back on. We can move the arm backwards. Perfect. We can move it forward. We can move it up. I can set the light to red. Blue green or yellow and as described so you basically done with the setup and you can follow uh, the rest of the instructions if you have questions let me know uh, we did adjust the device id so that was the last step here are the references here's my info if you need anything let me know if you have any questions Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.